guys, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy episode 16. Uh, today we're going to find out what Gladwin Moon wants. And I think it has something maybe to do with beasts. So I really hope so. But I hope you enjoy and let's go. I kind of want to save up my turns because there's some stuff that I got that I regret getting. Like... Uh, like these two, I regret. Dark arts, probably some stuff I can get later on, like Prependo and stuff. Oh, there's another one. Revelio. I really want to go and explore Hogwarts, actually. Just like have a chill day and run around. I know I keep saying I'm gonna record that, but <laughs> I haven't gotten the chance. I'm so busy right now. I'm just so busy right now. Like, I have so much on my plate. Oh, um, oh I haven't seen during daytime. It's actually quite nice. Hello? Yeah, that like i say again i haven't gotten even the chance to play hogwarts a lot are you like leaning over that's so cute hello i want books i want to i want i want i, I love <laughs> i want it oh hello Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course yeah. not. And uh, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. Oh, we just stand here all day. If you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. I've seen a You few. see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes! terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigoises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. 
In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them, so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I don't want to get in trouble, though. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. <gasps> However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. Ah! What about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and school I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. <gasps> hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Good luck. Nice. Finally. A little more. What? Uh, move bridge park. Ah. Is it just random? Oh. Seems like I got it. <laughs> well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. Okay. This is a restricted area of the castle after all. Okay. There's a landmark spawn that receiving a good deal of fun and cutting the instructions of them. Level eleven lock down. I wonder if it's just ghosts that's full. There's a thing down again. Okay. Oh, we already got it. Okay, gosh, I look for these figures and the main location. Here's the main undetected. Okay. I'm gonna do a lot of work.
going back up. Oh, I think she heard me. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled kids. I heard about that one. Oh no, I did. I'm talking about something else. Pavilion. Okay, so. I need Leviosa real quick. Pavilia. Ah! This must be the prefect's bathroom. Where's the hospital wing? I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows <laughs> that. Students are terribly disappointed in the Quidditch. Okay, she's gonna talk. Students are terribly disappointed. Hmm. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? Well, Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Oh, my heart is pounding. Anyway, I had high hopes. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. It encompasses the whole of the human condition. How's that? Well, all of the teamwork and the flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life. Where do I go now? Back down. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, that was. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't rush, don't rush. Pavilion. Let me just take a breather. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped! An excellent <laughs> start! Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. I'll see what I can do, but I'm fairly busy. I can't promise anything. Uh, understood. Uh, but I hope you will find the time. Mm. In case it matters, I do have something to offer in exchange for your... assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. Great. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. That'll be interesting to figure this out. Oh, very good. Let's... Uh, a nice assignment. Keys. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. I'd love to. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Damn, I wasn't surprised there was more people howling me. I don't know what I like better, daytime or nighttime, because for me, they're both really beautiful. I just feel like Hogwarts lights up more in the night with the warmness of the lights and the fire. But the daylight is still really pretty. Like, I don't know what I prefer anymore. <gasps> I'm so excited for this. That's why I'm pushing math and pushing. Oh. oh. 
mind now, Demi guy. Hello, Miss Amai. I love her. This is a class I'm really excited for. Because my main focus, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to learn spells. Not just, but like, I was really excited to learn a bunch of spells. And Rebellion. this is a nice class of really cool. Okay. Um, map, left, right. Just sitting on the floor. I just slept on the floor. So excited for class. I'll be unrivaled at the next course. Oh, I hate her. And then, um, and then there's coming being like, what? I love her, she's so cute. Cute and cool. Oh! Oh! I know that. Oh, I saw, I remember Coraline. He's just like, okay. Interesting. I love her. Oh, I'm gonna love her. I already know it. She's so cool. I hope those assignments. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow ah! through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present. And even one's past may earrings. reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? Trump and your power. Trumps, triumphs. I would say that. That will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. That. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Aww. Channel your magic towards your targets. Oh, 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 no. Okay. Accidentally pressed the button. You have it. Now, why not practice the new spell on the training dummy? Is it gonna be faulty now? Because I, I messed up. Sendo. Was it the Sendo that I got? Where's the training dummy? Oh, it is the sender. Okay. Where's the training dummy? Sender! Teacher? Where's the training dummy? I know it's probably down here. I'm just like. You say there'd be a training dummy, and then the class is too small for a training dummy. Where's the training dummy? There is no. Okay. Amazing. I'm gonna do her first. Also, I feel like changing my appearance. I know, right? <laughs> what a qu what a surprising thing. 
Is this still autumn? Because it is winter here now. Yes. I am Ravenclaw. <laughs> okay. Hello. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. Adelaide Oaks. Adelaide. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. Ooh. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh, could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Hmm. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. All good. Oh, Uncle Roland, what have you got yourself into? Hmm, let's go do that. Okay, that's my setup for now. Let's go! Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Hmm. And Oaks loyalists, just ahead. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Round Rock's lot agreed to me, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended their request and were angry when I asked questions. I overheard some of their plan in a gobbled book. book. They're often my rare metal deposit that are suitable for drilling. I'm afraid of upsetting them further. They seem rather volatile. And I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can work out a compromise. Perhaps not. Roland Oaks. Hmm. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. formation that's the first landmark on this map now to find the crooked tree we now quickly see the crooked tree again Pick up again uh, oh 
wait, wait, up there. Yeah, up there. Move on, not up there. Look for a rock with a tree. So it says straight. So probably straight. Ah, rock. Oh, rock with a tree. A crooked tree, just as the map said. The crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. <gasps> oh no! Wouldn't mind a plum job at Gringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. How do I mind help you? you? Suppose it could get a bit boring. How do I help you? Okay, how do I get out? <laughs> no, did you really? Oi, pass that fire whiskey over here. You have to learn to share. So, crooked tree. What's next? Crooked tree. Carriage and a wall. And then... Place with a gate. Carriage with a wall. And the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. Okay, with the trolley and then down. South. And you go a bit more south. <gasps> oh. That scared me. Ah, oh, there it is. I think. Yes. We found it. <laughs> ah, but if you don't fill up so much, you can actually go further. What do we have here? What the hell am I hearing? What am I hearing? That does not sound good. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. Maybe. place for an unaccompanied student. A ladder. That's what I need. Who's there? It's me, bitches. What was that? 
Shut up. What went on? I want to use that more. I just realized how to do that. Question. Um. Things were spot on. Rock to blame. You only have a rock to blame. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. I want to get up there. Oh, 
feel it's clicking, it's so cute. There's so much to see. has fooled you all to your demise. Wingman's passions. Oh, I wanted to quickly. that way but I kind of want to just like explore here sorry if I'm not like talking a lot um, I'm not feeling that well again oh why can't I go in there and I have like a little headache and I'm so tired but I really want to play this game like, I also need to finish this game for YouTube but yeah But uh, I'm not feeling the readers, so wasn't there something else there? No, I don't think so. My head is sore and I'm not feeling well. <laughs> Reason to that is ooh, I uh I uh, went to sleep really late last night. I should probably kill them first. Went to sleep really late last night. We were playing Elder Scrolls Online. And One way or another, we'll get what we're owed. No! I will make you. For me, you can't stop us. Collect all the goodies. 
<gasps> you can't carry more. Ah, I can't carry more wiggins potions. That sucks. Revelia. His wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Oh, there we go. I couldn't see it. You to learn the error of your ways. Jago. Oh, they have little beds. Look at it. Oh, it's made of iron of something. That's interesting. It's not even wood, just wood. It's good. Hmm. Who did I keep? Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found it, <laughs> <Yes>. Mr. Oaks. <laughs> oh, you found it! Pass it to me. Hurry, before they come. I must get out. Hurry! Clear. I love that the dialogue. They added that dialogue. I wonder if it's gonna be him. Yes, it is. Wow, you're fancy. You did it! I found my wand and wait! You're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's alright, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very <laughs> talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Van Rock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting Money. goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you. Money! Truly. Money. <laughs> you mentioned you overheard things. Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Mm. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ramrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them, and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to Aww. death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. 
that you speak gobbledygook. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Ranrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. So it wasn't easy learning the language. It, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Watching this episode I really hope you enjoyed um, this is more of a um, this is getting interesting um, woo! <laughs> dragons I'm so excited <laughs> um, next episode probably most likely gonna meet with a deek and uh, get our uh, knapsack <laughs> to try and get a beast and hopefully then we'll be able to make money and buy more potion brewing and stuff like that for our uh, room of requirement that I really want. Um, so I'm really excited for that. So look out for that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye!